Hi, this is Kane with SMB, and today we're showing you our part number 10 3002 20 gallon wheel well tank. This fits on the Transit as well as the Sprinters. Today we're showing you installed on a 170 Sprinter. It also fits the 144. Uh, just an overview for the tank this is a wraparound wheel well design. It's 20, 20 gallons. We have bigger wraparound wheel well designs as well, as well as ones that stop at the front of the wheel well. To show you some dimensions on this specific tank. Is 15 and 3 quarters tall. Forty-five and three quarters long. And it's twelve and a half wide. Uh, the tank has inch and a half spin weld on the bottom, half inch on the bottom, inch and a half, and half inch again. Uh, also a half inch and a half spin weld on the very top. This one's perfect for a uh, KUS 15. So this is a 15 inch level sensor that can just screw in right to the top. Uh, it also works with externally mounted uh, level sensors, whether if it's a tape on or a drill, um, or, or, or if it's a drill style. Um, you can see there's also the same spin welds on the front. So if you wanted to change to have the to have the feed to the pump on the front that's perfectly fine and then also it works on the driver's side so you can spin it around and you have the same spin weld access the tank mounts just like that it comes with two two straps and it also comes with a mounting um, plus nut kit so not only does it come with plus nuts but it also comes with a plus nut tool so the plus nut tool makes it really easy to activate these plus nuts. You just, you, you simply just uh, use the included longer screw. You put your plus, you put your, well first you drill the hole, then you put your plus nut in, then you put your plus nut tool in, you put the longer bolt in, you tighten up the bolt until the plus nut activates, you remove the bolt, and you use the included hardware to mount the strap. Um, we don't sell these fittings, but just show you some examples on how you could have this um, set up to, to fill the tank. Is you could use a just a gravity um, fill port just like this, and this gravity fill port comes with an inch and a quarter as well as a half inch barb on the back. So you can screw in if you just want to come straight off the tank. You can screw in a inch and a half to inch and a quarter barb, and you could use some of this nice. RV hose to have it pushed on and if your cabinet's right here you can mount mount this right, right about here and you could also use a 90 so if you wanted to come straight off of here with a 90 and here with 90 you could put your uh, your fill port right here um, you can use this as a feed or you can use the front fitting as a feed other than that we'll get this tank swung over to the driver's side and show you how it fits around the driver's side real well all right, now we're getting this tank swung over to the driver's side. Here's a good visual of the inside of the tank. You can see that the distance in front and behind are the same on this wraparound wheel well design. Mounts just like it did on the passenger side. You have the holes that line up with the sheet metal. Obviously, then we're going to be drilling into the bottom of the van as well to mount the rear part of the strap. You now have your level sensor in the front compared to having it at the rear. Um, but obviously the dimensions and everything else are the same. Um, one dimension we can show you here is just from the rear of the van to the front is 32 inches. And that's from the sheet metal to the start of the tank is 32 inches on this 170. Uh, other than that, let us know if you have any questions. We have a whole bunch of other tanks that go under the van as well as inside of the van. Um, and thank you for your time watching the video.